Here's a question that can be a little bit tricky, and it's a good test of how well you understand moles. Okay, here's a question. How many molecules of H2O are in one mole of H2O molecules? Okay, think about this for a sec. You can do some math, pause the video, and when you have your answer, turn it back on. Okay, got it? So when I ask this question to people, I usually get one of these two very common responses, okay? The first is, I don't know. And the second is one, one molecule of H2O in one mole of H2O molecules. Unfortunately, neither of these is really what I'm looking for. The correct answer to this question, how many molecules of H2O are in one mole of H2O molecules, is 602 hexillion molecules of H2O. And this is often abbreviated, this number, 602 hexillion, is often abbreviated as 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. It's just this number written in scientific notation. Okay, so if you got this right, awesome, great job. If this was a little bit tricky for you, keep watching and we'll do a quick talk about moles so this kind of problem won't confuse you again and you'll be all set with these concepts. So what's a mole? Well, I always like to say that a mole is kind of like a dozen, except a dozen has 12 things in it. And a mole has 602 hexillion things in it. That's pretty big. It's a lot bigger than a dozen. Now, this number 602 hexillion is really big. It's got all these zeros that are a big pain to write. So a lot of the times when we want to write this number, we abbreviate it in scientific notation as 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, okay? Now, a lot of people, me included, get really scared by this number. You see this and it's like, whoa, what do I even do with this? I have this 10 to the 23rd and the 6.02, but it's really important to keep in mind that this number is just a shorthand abbreviation version of 602 hexillion. So whenever you see or hear 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, don't freak out. Just think of it as an abbreviation of 602 hexillion. So what's a mole? A mole is like a dozen, except a dozen has 12 things in it, and a mole has 602 hexillion things in it. And these 602 hexillion things are often abbreviated as 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So now we can apply what we've learned here to the problem that we first started at the beginning of the video. Okay, so now we know what a mole is, and whenever we see something talking about a mole, we know how many things are in that mole, okay? So if someone asks how many jelly beans are in one mole of jelly beans, and check out these jelly beans here, the answer is, 602 hexillion jelly beans, or we can abbreviate that as 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd jelly beans. Because there's always 602 hexillion things in a mole of anything. Or we could have a mole of pennies. How many things in a mole of pennies? 602 hexillion pennies in that mole, or we can abbreviate it as 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd pennies. See where this is going? Now, Here's a question that we had at the beginning of the video. How many molecules of H2O are in one mole of H2O molecules? Well, a mole is just another word for 602 hexillion things. So there are 602 hexillion H2O molecules in one mole of H2O molecules, or if we want to abbreviate it, there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd H2O molecules in one mole. 